What's going on guys? It's your boy Big Ron and I got my boy Jim Reaper, my other boy Larry Wills. We're gonna get into some real heavy bench press with the Ronnie Coleman Signature Series Gym. And we are ready to lift some heavy ass weights. Yeah, buddy! Let's do this. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right. yes, we use it for uh, private trainers can come yeah. in and utilize it as well. Um, it's amazing. But this is built specifically for the Look brand and for the company. For I'm us. actually wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sweet. This is um, incredible. Yeah, and like like I said, like you'll have this whole place to yourself. So like you, this Larry, awesome. and Ronnie will just be able to kind of train. We'll crank the music yeah, up. Yeah, hell yeah. And uh, we'll have a good time in here. That's oh, yeah. definitely my language. This is incredible. Oh my god. So right? we got, yeah, everything's kind of <laughs> sectioned off too, too. So we got legs, legs yeah. kind of sectioned here, arms and shoulders and back on this area here. Um, and then chest. So like I was saying, like the chest rig that we yeah. have is kind of more of an independent rig like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then incline as well. But what we were thinking about doing is if you wanted to do like bench press or anything yeah, like this, yeah. we do have this where we could pull over the chair. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, we we'll set like uh, bench, mm -hmm. the deadlifts, squats, yeah. anything you wanted to do with yeah, so that kind of stuff here. The plan today is bench. Okay. Um, I'm looking to go maybe yeah. around 660. Awesome. Um, have you got, is it, are, these, are these your bars? So yeah. Big one too, it's nice. Yeah, we got two over there and then we have a deadlift bar here and another bench bar here. This is, this setup's crazy. Yeah. This is nuts. I would like, this is like a playground. Like, I would never ever stop. I've never got home. No, this, it's hard to go home. We yeah, work all day, and then most of the guys here are working out until about <laughs> seven o'clock, so cool. eight o'clock at night. So yeah, it's awesome. It's so awesome. Like, is, there, is there a big team here, like infrastructure-wise? You would be surprised. We're a, we're a team of like eight guys total. Wow. We run the media company, his uh, his clothing line. Do you guys edit companies. his content and all that stuff too? Yeah. So the guy right there is his main video editor. Yeah. Um, he's our main camera guy right oh, yeah. here, Kurt, right. and then Miguel is our second our second shooter. So we got wow. two camera guys, one editor, and yeah, we kind of. What a team, man! Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah, we yeah, move quick. It's also it's super fun. inspiring. Yeah. Like super inspiring because this is. Fifth wow. king, right? Yeah. This will be fun though. Today, I think you're wow. gonna have a good time. I can't wait. Ronnie's energy is always gonna yeah. be high. It's not just that. Lucky's also pancakes. super, super yeah. high energy too. So, and they they worked together before. Yeah, they we have. actually did a collab yeah. with him. What was it last year out? In yeah, Dubai. it was Dubai, right? Yeah, yeah. Dubai, I think minus. Larry was hitting legs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember watching that. And I was, I loved it. Yeah, I think, I think Larry was going for like five plates of reps on the squat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we had nobody to spot him either. Yeah, so it was like yeah, yeah. That was a little sketchy. Was it? Yeah, yeah. We had a moment where Adam was like, "Yo, like." Told you that. Yeah, because he, he we had nobody <laughs> to spot him because yeah. Ronnie was just in, like encouraging him yeah, off yeah, to the yeah. side. Yeah, Josh, this is uh, hey, nice to meet you, William, the marketing you, right? director here. Nice How's it going, man? I'm, I'm nice on the back. Yeah, yeah, good. So you're going to what? Six sixty? I'm a seat. Yeah, I'm a warm up. Oh no way! way. Really? See, I wanted Damn. to. <laughs> I wanted to do some of my crazy stuff for you. Yeah. Um, that's not crazy. What do you mean? I was gonna say that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. What's your what's your your best lift? Have you seen like my clap press? I haven't seen it, but. Uh, so on the incline, I throw like 350 in the air, clap and then catch it. <laughs> Not fucking. Yeah. <laughs> and I've also uh, currently got a world record in one arm incline press. I, I saw that one. Yeah, right? I did 136 kilo with Larry. That was fucking. But cool. I was gonna. Who's you know, spotting you? Is Larry coming? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I so mean, look, the reality is, it's really matter who spots me look, because. A lot of the time in those lifts, they can't do anything. Yeah, that's it's more of just like a moral support. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, <laughs> don't die. Don't, don't die on me, man. That's all Someone's got to be twice your size to Literally, spot you yeah, like, if it's, it's going like, to actually make a difference. I mean, look, if there's anyone good for spotting, it's an 800 pound deadlifter. Yeah, so exactly. Good for that. And no. he's in crit, he's in crit yeah. shape right now. Yeah, he, he just got robbed yesterday. I did too. I thought so. I thought so too. Because I was there and it's like, I don't know, like, no offense to any of his competition. Obviously, I just think he was he was the best on the stage, 100%. But I, I do believe there's politics in bodybuilding, right? So, a million you know, percent. Uh, a million percent. Can't just give Larry Wills the Olympia the first time he shows up, right? <laughs> so, but I mean, look, he's he's already said he's going to take like pretty much till late next year now to just build, which is incredible. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, coming could, from where he was, he's delivered he's that delivered physique done. on six weeks prep. Yeah. So for him to take a year now where he can just eat, rest, recover, and get stronger, then come back and deliver a real package. Yeah. He'll kill it. Yeah. So it's going to be sure. exciting stuff, but. Yeah, that, that's my crazy stuff is the clapping and the one arm stuff that I do. I tell people like the way I went to the gym was like doing whatever I want to do in the moment. Yeah. You, know? you always been into the social media side of it too? Or um, kind of just new to you? No, so social media for me was like, 
I, I suppose I've dabbled in like different areas, plus before I ever got into kind of like influencing with gym and yeah. media for gym, it was more, I used to stream a lot, like on Twitch and okay. gaming, uh, yeah. I used to have a good podcast in the UK, um, but I think my biggest life lesson was the ability to network, Yeah. so I've always networked super well, Yeah. Um, I've just always focused on building relationships, I never turned down an opportunity, Yeah. so it That's doesn't matter what it is, you know, doesn't matter if it's did you come to a charity football game five hours away, yeah. and uh, there might be nobody there that I know. But it's like the reality is I could get there, and there could be somebody that knows somebody that I want to know in the future. In two years' time, that would actually could benefit me, right? So, Absolutely. I've always treated it as networking is key, um, and all that networking has ultimately got me to a point where, when I started making content, especially gym related content, a lot of relationships already had benefited me, yeah. um, and it just took off like that. It's, it's yeah, a lot it's, more easy. It's been a, yeah, yeah, and it's been a pretty nutty. 10 months. Yeah, I, was gonna say. Um, I remember January the 1st, my New Year's resolution was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim to hit 100,000 followers this year. Yeah. Um, and I had 10,000 on January the 1st. Um, and I just I'm gonna post daily, you know, consistent posts, stay consistent, do what you need to do yeah. to create it. Because, you know, the, I think the one thing that people don't realize is consistency is king, right? As long as you're consistent, 100%. sooner or later, you'll find the traction. Yeah. Um, and, and sometimes at the start, it might not feel that way. But I knew that was that, that there had to be something behind it when I was doing it. So I just enjoyed my content. Yeah. I made sure that every day I posted, but I enjoyed what I was posting. And then January 24th, I had 100,000. So it took three weeks to get 90K. And I was like, huh. And then. Well, down push faster. I yeah. Go. And then Figure by February, it. it was like 400,000. And now we're about to hit one, you know, 1.5 million. We're going to a million and a half. Um, but it's moving really well. Um, and it's not just that, but in the last 10 months, like, if you'd have told me a year ago yeah. that I'd be in Ronnie Collins' uh, office, yeah. about to bench press for him, um, I would have laughed at you yeah. and told you to stop smoking what you were smoking. Yeah. Um, but it's crazy with that. And now I'm here. Yeah. And you know, it's like it's my it's my third time out in the US this year. I've done LA twice. I've done Florida twice now. Um, I benched with Judas Maddox. I've benched for Larry twice. Um, benched with some of the you know the biggest names in the world, and now arguably the you biggest. Do. So I'm yeah. just like. I don't think anything can bring me down. I'm going to be honest, to touch, uh, touch one of them. I'll go to a today and not care. <laughs> I'll go a little bit. I'm not going to do that, very good. Uh, but yeah, that's just, it's just been a crazy journey the last 10 months. It's been super, I don't know, almost imposter syndrome like. Yeah. You know, because it's just a lifestyle change that was so, fast so fast. Yeah. Um, it's and amazing, then, you know, you're, doing a lot of, you're doing a lot of really positive yeah, stuff I mean, with it, which is good, it's, yeah. what, it's what the yeah. industry needs. Yeah. The industry needs more positive mm -hmm. in, in it, because yeah. in yeah. the past it's always been kind mm -hmm. of a clash between, well, yeah, I just think between it, people. The thing is, uh, a lot of it is super unwelcoming, this community, right? A lot of the yeah. time, it's a super unwelcoming community, especially in that younger range now, of yeah. like, you know, like maybe 17 to 22. Yeah. So they've all got this chip on the shoulder, and it's like, I mean, the reality is that you know, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a better experience in the gym, not just for you. For yourself, you're gonna get stronger when you work better with other people. 100%. Every time, so yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I based it off. I mean, the whole Jim Reaper concept wasn't for mine. Yeah, it's bizarre how it came around. I remember some dude tagged me in a video, um, maybe like late December. Yeah, and was like, yeah, like look at this dude. And I just, I, 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 I remember stitching the video because he was like, if your boyfriend can't bench two two five, he's a girl. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> He like, who are you to set that strength standard for anyone? Yeah, exactly. So I found his deadlift, I think it was like 405, and I ripped it on the incline. Um, and posted that, and I was like, well, now you're my girl then, yeah? Yeah. So if, if we're just going to decide yeah. who sets a strength standard, I can do that to you. Like, anyone can do this. Exactly. There's always someone bigger, right? There's always someone stronger. Even for me, you know? Judas yeah. Maddox makes me look like a child. Yeah. So it was like having that outlook, and once I did that video, I got tagged in a couple more, people were like, you know what? This guy's good for this. Yeah. And then I remember somebody it's commented. Genuine yeah. Style. Somebody commented maybe like mid January and was like, "This dude's the Jim Reaper." And I was like, "Wow, that's got a ring to it." Yeah, he was. And I just I ran with it, and the moment I ran with it, it was insane. It was that's insane. Awesome. Yeah. It works. It does. Yeah. yeah, it's been fun. It's been a good journey so far. Awesome. Really good. But I think this is the ice on the cake today. Yeah, man. We'll I'm so excited. I can't wait. For sure. Can't wait. Probably gonna start stretching. Get my. Uh, I was shot. gonna say you guys want to start up stretching. Over get my there. shoulders warm. Lounge. We yeah. got waters in that cooler. Awesome. Anything you guys need, I'll crank on some music for y'all. But feel free to make Sweet. this place like home. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Craig. Thank you. And if you guys need anything, I'll be right through there. Sweet. Just let me know. This is incredible. Yeah. This, is, <laughs> this is nuts. This is nuts. Alright, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> This Obviously. guy made it, you made it. I love this fan that. When we walked into the gym, it says, Welcome, Jim Reaper. 
Yeah, he does. He's he's what is? Welcome, but bro, he's just pulled up. Oh man, he's like, oh, right. Wow. Josh, how are you doing? This is Ronnie. Ronnie, Josh, Jimmy. Come on, bro. Nice to meet you, bro, man. Absolute pleasure. Honor. This is incredible. Need up. This is incredible. Oh my buddy. He's like a dream. Honestly, this is a dream. I'm about to like I'm 28 and I feel 10 years old right now. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Like now, bro. Wow. Thank you for coming out. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this opportunity is huge. Thank you. This is. I mean, I was just saying to the guys, I, I can't imagine what you were like when you were picking the equipment. <laughs> yeah, like, everything was like a, like a sweet shop, right? Like, I take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit of that. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> so you cool. Come off, yeah, yeah. No, you came. You came? Oh, okay. Yeah. You get that a lot, though, actually. Yeah, I get that a lot. Actually, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Birmingham, UK. Oh, okay. That's right. What's your uh, max on that uh, bit? Uh, six, eight, five, six. You don't want seven? Yeah, so um, working towards seven. Um, hoping to hit seven realistically before the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and then the plan is to just go for a world record over the next five years. Um, challenge Julius. Because um, he needs a challenge, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Julius, Julius does think that I'm that person that can challenge him, he said that himself, so, oh, um, okay. yeah, just a lot of work and most time. Of, most of you bench? Yeah, bench specialist, definitely. Oh, okay. uh, a, lot of, a lot of shoulder press too, oh, uh, okay. got a good shoulder press on me, about 535 pounds. Five, 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 five. Yeah, um, but yeah, mostly just bench. But I also am pretty well known for a lot of crazy stunts on the bench. Oh, okay. Um, you yeah, tried the dumbbell? No. Never been a dumbbell specialist. Never been good at them. But um, it's weird that I'm not very good at them because I can do 136 kilo on a barbell on one arm yeah. on inclines, which is 300 pounds. Um, and I also I can I can throw 350 in the air, clap and catch it on incline. Yeah. But it's like dumbbells. I'm not great at. Okay. I, I don't know why. What 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 what, what, what you try? The most I've tried is 200s, and I've I got them for like six. Yeah. Okay. But I suppose if I actually focus them a little. I did them more, I could probably get a lot more. Yeah. But they are a good accessory, I don't know why I don't use them more. I've just always been somebody that like, just loves the bench press itself, you know, oh, just okay. that barbell movement. I'm so addicted to it that it's kind of all I do. Oh, okay. I probably did too much of it, you know. <laughs> I definitely did too much of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should lay off a little. <laughs> just about every day. Yeah, I mean, maybe three, four times a week I bench. Um, and if I'm not benching, then it's accessory work related to bench, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whether it's lats or rows or anything that's, you know, tricep dominant, anything I can use to utilize toward that, I'll do that. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> and it's good, it's fun. <laughs> it is, it's just, it's like my third child, that's how I treat it. I've got two sons, but bench is, bench is my third child, you know? <laughs> it's the closest yeah. thing I've got. Yeah, I love what, it. What did you come up here with? I uh, came up with my own. I came out to see um, Larry at the Olympia. Oh, okay. Um, but out here, this is my third time in the US this year. Oh, okay. um, so I did, I've done LA twice, um, and this is my second time in Florida this year too. Um, but yeah, every time I've come out, it's just been to bench some crazy stuff or do some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> been fun, been fun. You done it then yet? Just warming up my back a little. Oh, okay. Just warming up my back a little. I'm gonna start stretching in a minute, um, and then let's start benching. Oh, okay. Gonna use the, uh, the, the rack that you've got, and just set up bench in there and go. Oh, and right, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You gonna do some crazy shit today, or what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do some crazy shit. Yeah, little. 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 Yeah, Watching the leg press days. Yep. Watching the squats. Yeah. Get you life for today. Yeah, for real. I think I, I'm sure I watched your 405 set as well. You did 405 for like on bench. I think for like 15. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah four, five, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
you saw it, didn't you? Yeah. How many did I get? I think it was six. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most I have done. Really? That was, that was it. Did you ever, like, do you, you know now you're, you are where you are, do you ever wish that you sent higher PRs back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when, when I did the 800, I, I could have got six from that. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah that was I'll watch it, I know. Yeah. The second rep was cleaner than the first rep, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely had more. I, see, I did lift at 800 before, and it was yeah. hard putting it from the floor. Yeah. So I was thinking the same thing on my back. Yeah. Gravity works differently. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what do you think you could have pressed? I think you'd have pressed 600. Oh yeah, I think I could have got 600 if I worked on it. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. But I was too busy trying to put on, put on some side. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you up to now? Oh, uh, like 415. Oh, dang. Yeah. I'm on what I like to call. Uh, <laughs> I'm on what I like to. I like to call this the eternal bulk. Yeah. Uh, there's not really a cutting phase in my bulk. Uh, it's yeah. more of just a six year long bulk at the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, my, my, the goal is to, to get a world record bench and then cut it all off, you know. And well, just, what, is, what is it now? Still Julius, 354 kilo in competition. Oh, wow. um, so, what is that in 700 and. About, about, 700, about, about 780 pounds. So, a really big, you know, really big weight. Um, yeah, so he's still trying to get 800. Julius is trying to get toward 800 now, but he has had some knockbacks and some setbacks with small injuries and stuff. So he's still kind of working back up toward it. Um, but in my eyes, he's the best bencher that's ever lived. Yeah, yeah. Um, how old is he now? He's, I think, how old is Julius now? 35, 36? I'm not strong with when I was 42, I think. Really? 42, yeah. Really? That's what I yeah. See, I, I always like, there's always this concept of like, especially when it comes to like strength, yeah. is like once you kind of get past 35, 36, your prime just kinds to slip away. No, 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 no. no, no. Ronnie, how old not were you for Ronnie, right? No, no, no. <laughs> how old were you when you did the 800 pounds? 800, that was uh, 03, so. Uh, that was 03, so I was uh, 39. 30, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 39. Yeah. You repping 839. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was, that was pretty much the strongest I was. So That's incredible. Strongest. That's so good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. The wild thing is too, is like even back in the early 2000s, all of Ronnie's heaviest lifts were on Perez Rock. All your heaviest lifts are all on tape. Oh yeah, all of them. And nothing else was not filmed. Yeah, That's so, so cool. He didn't go for any, any yeah. other heavy yeah. lifts that yeah. weren't yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have to really cool. The only thing wasn't on tape is when I did the, the, the front squat, the six plates. For, us, for 10. Front squat. Because <laughs> I, I dropped it. For 10 on the front squat? Yeah. You could barely leg press that for 10. Five, eight, five. <laughs> I dropped it when I tried it on tape, you know, and I got the, yeah. the four, four reps. I, I, I didn't take into account the bouncing. You're so I'm like, okay. I, could, I, I know I could get this with more than four or five. Yeah. So when the camera wasn't there, I went and did 10. That's so the only thing I didn't get on tape. That's so, so incredible. Wow. Wow. You gotta have the right shoulder to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your shoulders ain't made right, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> what was, what would you say was like your most challenging lift of all? The thing that, that you. That, that was yeah, it. definitely that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. What was the thing you enjoyed the most? Legs. Squatting. Yeah. Squatting. Yeah. You can see that, you yeah. can just see it. Yeah. My favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like deadlifting too. You know, see, I started out as a powerlifter in high school. Really? Yeah. Bench squat and deadlift. We used to do a lot of meets and stuff. And what made you what made what made you change? Well, I switched over when I got to when I graduated college and, and went to Dallas. Got the gym I'm in now. He said uh, he'd give me a free free membership to the gym if I competed. Because <laughs> he tried to get me to compete. He's like, man, you need to compete. I'm like, no, dude, I just got home with the police department. I ain't, I ain't trying to do this job, taking drugs and stuff. <laughs> said, no, man, you, you can do without it. He said, no, that's all right. That's, I, I like eating my hamburgers. <laughs> no way. So that guy offered you that free gym membership. That changed your life, right? Yeah. That and changed he, everything. He finally said, I give you a free membership if you compete. So does, does he get a free membership here now? <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. Actually, you know, Metroflex, that one now. <laughs> it's the whole world. 
Wow. Your body's still training at your place. Yeah, I still yeah. training six days a week over there. That's incredible. Hey, how's it going? He's a real one. <laughs> 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 Not so much for Jim Are you jumping into space? I'll leave the backup. Yeah. 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 What happened to you? What do you like a spot? What do you think you're getting there? <laughs> right now, I think in two weeks, I can do four or five to thirty. Four or five to thirty? Okay. <laughs> All right. At this very second, I think 225 for 10. Yeah. Don't push it. I need to nothing. Oh, yeah. It's going to sound like a twig right now. <laughs> Don't make the mistakes I did. <laughs> All right. Warming it up. Yeah, buddy. 415. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight. <laughs> I'm 135. <laughs> You're not even 135 kg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more I took a week off. I was doing six plates for 12 when I stopped. Just one week, all I took off. Came back. I was going up with the uh, six plates, going up from rep number eight. Bye. No. Wow. I needed this. No. That's bizarre because how one old were you week when that happened? I was uh, right at see that nine and seven, thirty-two. You're thirty years old. Yeah. Hmm. Is that when it starts to go downhill? About because one week. <laughs> well, he was telling me that he was like his strongest at thirty-nine. Yeah, um, yeah, I was the most strongest at thirty-nine, forty. Yeah. Is that when you hit the big deadlift? Yeah, big dead, big big, big squat. Yeah. No way. Yeah, thirty-nine. Shit. Yeah. So I could have another decade of being a power. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel <laughs> young. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't, you know, near your peak. Shit. I ain't close to it. I mean, you see things differently. I mean, might, you might break some major records. I'm looking like some unbelievable shit never been done before. I mean, that's where my head's starting to go after this year. All, all you gotta do is stay healthy. That's the hardest part. <laughs> but I think I got some wisdom over the years. I got a few yeah. permanent injuries like this bicep tear and the list goes on. But I've routinely taken off two to three weeks from squat and just to come back stronger every time. Yeah. Just yeah. from the C natural. You just gotta take your time. Yeah. yeah. Take your time. Yeah. I'm gonna work came back from six weeks. So I had a, a delt strain. Um took six weeks off pressing pretty much all together. I did some some blood flow stuff. Um nothing more than maybe two two five. Um came back and smoked a new PR. So yeah. Uh, I think the rest is six yeah. weeks. Yeah, how much time before you hit the PR? Um, I was back for one week. Second bench session back. That's fantastic. Did you come back heavier? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but for you, you don't, you don't ever go down and wait, do you? you no, I mean, I, 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 can't, I think the word weight loss is not in my vocabulary. It's just, <laughs> uh, just weight gain, you know? Um, Forever bulk. Yeah, eternal bulk, you know? Eternal bulk. When my weight you dropped? So a month ago I was 270 and dropped about 35, 40 pounds in yeah. the month. Yeah. It was a big yeah. cut. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to do it twice actually because my first show was on Saturday and then I did one amateur yesterday. Yeah. So making weight twice, it was, it was brutal. The first time actually wasn't bad. But the second time, <laughs> the last couple pounds, it took me all day. It took me all day. I was in, in and out of the sauna, hot tub, hot shower, oh, running to get like Dang. two pounds, because my body was really fighting to not go back to 232. <laughs> I spent the last 10 years over 250, right? Yeah, Most yeah. of over 270, so. Yeah. Uh, you were you were uh, on stage, uh, what was the lights you've been on stage? 215 when I was damaging. 215, and then the, the heaviest on stage? 295? 04. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> Jeez. God damn. I gotta pull up those we gotta pull up those photos when you were an amateur. You know, yeah. Both of those I don't get shaved very often. But those to me are the most relatable one. Did you still look kinda human? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, was, I, 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 I drug free for uh, like uh, five four, five years. As an amateur? Um, and uh, pro. Yeah. Oh. Turn pro as a uh Mandy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they uh, they drug test me the night for the show. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Night before the show. Wow. One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>
make sure they gonna get me. <laughs> they, they just knew I was on something. <laughs> I mean, it looked like it. I remember seeing a video of you. It looked like you were maybe kind of teenager, but early twenties. You're significantly slimmer than when yeah, you were yeah. big, but your legs were still popping. It's huge quad sweep, no waist. I mean, to me, it looked like that was an enhanced physique. See, I did that '94 Olympia, completely drug free. I, I weighed in probably like two, two three, somewhere now. And place 15. Damn. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Drug free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, I've placed a few times. Um, yeah. Like eating contests and stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, stuff like that. Someone sees you put up an eating contest. <laughs> second place. If I am second place. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's thin, but I don't even... I feel good. Okay. So... I mean, honestly, well, I'm not 450 pounds, but when I've had the bench in commercial gyms for the first few years of my powerlifting career, the benches themselves, the bench part, never was a problem. It yeah. was really mean just the rack height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Just not having the rack height where I wanted yeah. to be and yeah. needing three people to unrack me for me. Yeah. But the bench I always found, even though it's thin or fat, no yeah. matter much of a difference. Yeah. But never. I think as long as I can lock lock in my upper shoulders and my back. Yeah. I'm good. So far I can't so I was just centered on in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean worst case, I'm not sure how much I can spot today, but <laughs> Oh, I'll do my best. <laughs> we good. We're at 660? I don't know. Side sliders. Have you done 675? Yeah. I did um, a 685. Um, I did 685 about 10, 11 days ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so pretty fresh. Absolutely. Pretty recent, actually. Um, and then I did, I think, I took about a week off pressing now. I did some blood flow work last Thursday. So like a week today, I guess. Okay. So, so okay, so I'm happy to hear that you didn't bench like yesterday. Oh no, no, not this time. Yeah. Trust me, I was, there was temptation. <laughs> I was real tempted. Because <laughs> I like, when we went to the Olympia, I was just like, man, I want to train. Really wanted to train, but I just thought, once I'm done with today, the next three days I can just free ball, right? And do it wrong. I mean, bearing in mind, you don't want to get hurt, right? Yeah, I mean, you're talking about doing a flat bench tomorrow? Enjoy no, it. today. Today? Yeah, why not? Okay. Tomorrow maybe, actually, it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we could do it. I mean, it depends. Have you got, do you think you got a bench for the booth? No. So we haven't sourced the bench, but I mean, we're still working on it. We may have one by the end of the day. I mean, if you get a bench, then I guess it'll be the first clap ever performed at Olympia. Yeah. For death defying stunt at yeah. the show. Yeah. <laughs> the most dangerous thing ever done. Count me in, sounds show. good. <laughs> sounds good. I'm gonna get my wrist wraps. Okay. Just so I can start um, locking. Love the look of seven plates in the bench bar. It just feels so right. It's my favorite. That's 660 on this. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was watching you and um, Julius this morning, back when Julius tried 790, a couple of years ago, right? Um, and I remember you saying the bench was your favorite out of three, that you enjoyed it, at that moment anyway, you enjoyed that the most. Yeah, because I was the best at it. Yeah. For yeah. my body weight. Yeah. So that just by default made it my favorite lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Would you say, if you were to go back into it now, would you still be favorite lift? Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's unfinished business. It's a yeah. thousand pound deadlift, there's a 700 yeah. pound bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there's some lifts that I had on the chalkboard and never got to take off mm -hmm. the box. But hearing that Ronnie now did it at 39, which was, that was his peak. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, thing. I'm 28 right now, 29 in a month. So I'm saying I don't have another 10 years, exactly. Yeah. Now that I understand he points of pacing, right? Uh, I'm not in such a rush like I was. I could take a different approach to it. Yeah. Instead of trying to get a 700 as quickly as possible, yeah. like, okay, well, how can I do it as safely as possible? Yeah. Minimizing the risk. It's going to be dangerous no matter what, but the mindset has changed the ball. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I can learn from my peers, right? I learn from my mistakes. Whenever I'm rushing, try and hit a PR, there's usually an injury at the end of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have tons of small ones. Yeah. But now, as I get later in life, bigger weights, bigger body weight, mm -hmm. injuries get bigger. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, okay, how can I change my approach where I can still chase those big PRs, but it's done now just with a bit more time. 
consideration and respect. Like uh, next year, I want to get my legs bigger, but that means I got to dial back the weights, I think. But then I hear Ronnie, he's like, well, I was doing 600 for 12 and doing lunges and squat three times a week. So I'm like, oh, I don't even have to do that. I don't think it has nothing to do with all the weights actually. <laughs> so I'm conflicted right now, but we're working on figuring it out what the right formula is for next year. Yeah. I think you just, just forget bodybuilding, to be honest. <laughs> I think you should just- Smoke like a true non bodybuilder. Yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> so I can like somebody that just wants to live. Yeah. I just think you should just turn back and just, Start throwing weight around again. Because sure. yeah. I need more labels motivation videos. <laughs> like I've watched the same one too many times. So, you know, I need a new, I need a new eight hundred pound deadlift one. Oh, oh, okay. getting a bit stale. Yeah, you know, I've watched it <laughs> a million times. The many views is me. So, um, but I can't imagine how like because obviously like, three times now I've bench with you, but every time like you've not been focusing strength, right? Yeah. So that's the that's the goal is to bench with you when you're focusing strength. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be such a vibe. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting my wrist wraps to start going. No doubt. No doubt, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, when I'm like super hyped up, I like aggressively like, you know, yeah, and yeah, every yeah. time I do that, I'm like pulling them apart. So, yeah, great. Yeah. Do that, man. Yeah. Yeah, treat them gently. <laughs> <laughs> being tempted to bench press today. <laughs> one day to avoid show. Show. One day, not even 24 hours. <laughs> Terrible idea. You know when you get you watch heavy lifting now, Ronnie, does it like, does it make you kind of want to be involved in that? Oh, yeah. Are yeah. uh -huh. we? Uh -huh. I can't imagine. Yeah. I mean, I've, all my life I've known heavy lifting. So, yeah. to live a life without it. It doesn't really cross my mind because it yeah. doesn't seem like it's ever going to happen, yeah. but one day it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We'll have that time. Generations are keeping it stronger too. That's right. So. Yeah. Next year, it's always going to be stronger than last. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Here you go. So, on your go, we hand you off. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Yep. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Oh, wow. oh yeah. I love to warm up just one fast rep. Yeah. The next set, so I'm running pounds. I just like to. Me. With the warm up, I like to um, try to make everything in my head. Move as fast as I can. Yeah. Because I guess there's a couple of things that tie into that for me. It's one, it's a confidence boost. The, the faster I can make these weights move on the way up, yeah. I guess the more confident I attack the bigger sets. Um, additionally, I just I've learned from what like you were saying just about injuries. I've learned from my mistakes with going up. Is that sometimes I do too much. I do too much on the way up, and I get to a point where I go for that set and it's not there. So I'm trying to change it up a little. Yeah, I can get behind that. I mean, my biggest PR days, lots of the days where I did minimum warm up. Yeah. It's just out of sheer excitement. Would not recommend it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it, it worked out for me. And I mean, I still did my dynamic stretch prior to the big lift, but the weights itself would always be jumping on 90 pounds, like you said. Yeah. One rep, quick, feel yeah. confidence, warm for CNS. And generally, I'm lifting eight, nine plates on squat or deadlift, six or seven on bench, and I'm in my powerlifting phase. So by the time I actually get to the top set, I've already done six, seven, eight, nine warm-up sets. Yeah, yeah. Right, so my students is warm. And I feel like every additional effort after that, even if it means like sitting up <laughs> and walking around the yeah. gym, yeah. is burning energy. So I'm yeah, like, I just want to sit down between sets on a nice yeah. chair with back support, yeah. like a little beach chair. Right? Yeah. So real. Burn Absolutely. as little energy as possible. Yeah. Walk up to the bar, right? Minimal steps taken. Mm -hmm. 
left it explosively as possible. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's true though, because like, even those little things that you're saying there about like minimizing steps, controlling breathing after a set, refocusing, getting your oxygen back in, not doing anything that you don't need to do. Especially like, even sometimes like wrapping yourself, you burn energy, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Even, wrapping, like, even that stuff, it's like, when you minimize all that for a session, you have a, a much better overall. Yeah, you know, my coach, anyway. Rick Powell from John Gagleon, yeah. he says to me the most, especially on a big PR day, is sit down, stop moving, yeah. stop doing anything, just sit. Time to lift, get up, lift, that's it. Like, just stop thinking, stop moving, just lift, literally. Yeah, right. In that case, I'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where's your chair, bro? <laughs> uh, did you have a strategy when you were hitting your PR? Did you just go for the PR? Just like, going for it. Just go for it? Yeah, just going for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were you somebody that like, obviously in today's, today's like generation of lifting as well, there's a lot of people that like thrive off music. When it comes to PIs, did you ever have to like lock in with music because it would just, was your voice enough? Yeah. Yeah. My voice was enough. Like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, all, that's all I needed to hear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, of all the periods I've seen you do, I've always wondered, especially because you seem to do them very close to your show. What's the closest you've done uh, PR to your show? Like five the, weeks out. Five weeks out. 800 pounds deadlift. <laughs> and <laughs> how did you know you had it in you? Because where I struggled trying to do both powerful bodybuilding is, well, if I'm training like a power lifter, then I'm not going to get developed like a bodybuilder, right? It's going to be compromised. And if I do the other way around, if I turn like a bodybuilder, I'm not going to get this training like a power lifter. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, well, how did you know, okay, you're five weeks into prep, clearly, you know, prioritizing bodybuilding, right? I mean, you're Mr. Olympia, but then no, you have an 800 pound squat in you, right? Which for most, especially back then was world-class lift. Uh, yeah. People that dedicate themselves only to the sport can do, Yeah. right? So how did you know you even had it in you? Because I would have imagined you were doing sets of eight to 12, mm -hmm. really yeah. most, and I then- I just basically went, went by how I felt, you know? If I felt strong, you know, you, you judge yourself. Yeah. So yeah. If I felt strong, then I was strong. You know, if I felt weak, then you know, as I got closer to the choice, the week I got. Right. Yeah, I mean, five weeks <laughs> out, five right before you started doing a real dehydration and carb cutting and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I was carb cutting like eight weeks, nine weeks out. Damn. Nine weeks so. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, it was. I was doing. Uh, 125 grams of carbs. Oh, that's what I was on through this prep. <laughs> but you were. I was doing it for two weeks, <laughs> and then I take two days then, and do like 300. And jump right back on the uh, uh, low carbs. Yeah. 125. Doing that. You know that was that was gone after a one hour of cardio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the power? When it came from? when it came time to work out. All I had energy to do was the pumping. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't have the energy to pick it up and do it. <laughs> yeah, to hand me, somebody had to hand it to me. Because I tried that one time and I'm like, oh shit, I, I ain't, I'm not gonna make it. So that's when I hired somebody to hand me all my weights. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no energy, <laughs> none. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? I uh, hand Ronnie Coleman his weights. Best job ever. Yeah. Best job ever, yeah. <laughs> Strong resume. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that guy today? <laughs> I'm living his best life. Absolutely. <laughs> and you remember, I also had a full time job working in the police department. That's right. You can see a lot. No, I had a lot going on. I come up on this one, Ronnie. Give a couple of pieces of screen, Still warming it up? Yep. Light baby. Too damn light. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Look, Joe. Warm it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes. Light baby. Beautiful. Swing away. Light, light. Real light. Sure. Do you? Oh, yeah. What's that, 200 kilo? Yeah, it's only 200 kg. I forgot we got, I forgot we were in KG Base for a second there, I was thinking. Should be right yeah, on this, man. Yeah, this is good for me, yeah. <laughs> Should be right on for you. Probably start, probably start wrapping now, five plates and up. I, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Absolutely. We got one. Feeling. Um, so this is awesome, Phil. On a bench like this, I mean, for me that's a super thin bench. Um, 
maybe the thinnest bench I've ever benched on. But mm -hmm. when you just take, just means I've got to take a little longer to set up. Yeah. You know, just lock in, make sure I'm really locked in before I come off. And then, okay. So you get the wraps on. Yeah. I was just wondering. These are. I think I asked earlier, but they say maximum 440 pounds, but that's each, right? Each hook. Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's your shrug mask. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's what it really comes down to. I'm just gonna shrug. Yeah. Or barbell, bro. With no straps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with no straps. Yeah. Let's not find out. Yeah, that's just, <laughs> not, that's not, I don't want to test that. I don't want to find out either. Just wait. Yeah, not a max one to figure out. But well, I do feel good today. I mean, it's I a smoke show, and it's yeah. completely raw. You're doing it right now with a good, legit comp pause. I mean, uh, your body weight's up 25 pounds since yeah. I last saw you. Yeah. Right. Heaviest you've ever been. Heaviest you've ever been. Yeah. It's a thin bench, but you've already adapted to it. You don't look uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. When we get the wraps on, you're really going to make it a smoke show. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably, after this set, I'll start to take slightly bigger breaks just between sets. Sure. Um, what's the heaviest bench you've ever seen, really? Live. Mm -hmm. What's the heaviest bench you've seen live? Oh, is, it, is it probably your own? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Was that I the 500 for six? Uh-huh. I, I haven't seen a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, heavy bench presses. Mm. You know, uh, I've done this big contest, you know. And then, Especially later. did you go every, I mean, before you started really getting close to a show, like on your five weeks out, did you go heavy every week? And by that, I mean like to a true, like somewhere I was between. I going heavy every single day. Every day, like as far as like pushing five, six, seven, eight plates. Yep. Really is, but that's that's what I'm confused about. So you. So about four weeks time, probably when I started backing out, you know, yeah. a little bit every day, a little bit every week at least, you know. I say about the last, last week is probably, when I really back off. Yeah. So I work all the way up to, I work out all the way up to like, the show is Saturday, Thursday. Mm. Wow. Fair. Mm -hmm. And would you do the compound free weights like squat bench Stella? Mm -hmm. Would you do that before the pump work or would you do that at the end of your workout? No, I, I did it during the workout. I, so I, I didn't change my workout up too much. You know, I was just doing the, the same uh, amount of reps. Uh, I'm, I'm always doing at least 10, at mm -hmm. least 10 reps, 15 on the lighter weight. But, sounds uh, like cardio to me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like cardio. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, and I'm doing that cardio uh, still, you know, on the way up to the show too. And then did you do uh, the, like I say, a heavy squat, would you do that at the very beginning of the workout or would you wait to the end, like after you've done all the pump work? Mm -hmm. No, no. Or if I'm, I'm doing the heavy, you know, that's at the beginning of the workout. Okay. You use the strongest. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> right. I mean, at, at, at the strongest. Yeah, I wasn't like that sure. day I, I did the 800 pound uh, squat, I did uh, that 2300 pound leg press right behind it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Absolutely love it, man. Because I was all messed up. Because uh, I didn't get those six reps like I could have got. So I'm like, I'm going to make up for it on the leg press. So I went and put everything I could on that on that uh, leg machine. And then pulled out a calculator and added it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. 2,300 pounds. I mean, that's when you know that, like, Hey, clearly you got nine reps with it. That's <laughs> right. You clearly surpass like normal ability, right? When you both get thrown out and go, right, so one, two, three, four, five, times this. Oh, equals that, okay. That's what I'm doing today. How many 45 places was that? Hmm? How many 45 places was that? That was probably like 50. 
<laughs> that was probably more than like an LA Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was pulled it all time. So That's it's just accurate. It's like 10, I mean 20 on here, on here and on the top. I yeah. heard it was a custom made leg press machine. Yeah, custom made leg press machine, yeah. You see, that's why I find the most impressed lift you've ever done. It. I had to get it custom made to do it. <laughs> see? And, he had, and he had to make it twice because the first time uh, we put all the weight on there and it, it bent the bar. <laughs> so he had to get one of those reinforced bars and, and, and do it over. Thank you. It didn't bend that bar. Yeah, it didn't bend your legs either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the legs were full control. I always <laughs> wanted to chase that lift, but I'm like, where would I even find the leg press to do it? Yeah, you, you, gotta, you it. gotta make it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make one. <laughs> Whatever happened to that leg press machine? Oh, it's yeah. still there. It's still a Metroplex. I was about to say to Larry, I was like, Larry, it's still there. It's Metroplex, still there. you want to try it? No way. Yeah, they still have it. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. It's still there. It's still there. Where's the location where they have it? Right in Dallas. Right in Dallas. It's still there. No way. Yeah, it's at the Metroplex still. We used to train. Uh, I got prepared for that. <laughs> you know you can do it. Come on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so go on bucket list. So on bucket list. I got to do 10 reps. Exactly. <laughs> you probably do 20. You know what? <laughs> you spot me? <laughs> I know you can do it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Yeah, warm it up. Yep. yep. Come on. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Warm it up. Lightweight. <laughs> Got some speed on that Easy bar now. <laughs> bar starting to get scared of you, man. Yeah. Starting to run away from that chest. <laughs> Can't wait to get wrecked. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about that bar. That thing is kind of bent. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's going to snap right in the middle and cut you. You going to try to do seven? You going to try for seven on this one? Um, With the thing on seven? Well, it's supposed to hold it, but it's not snap is the real question. We got it. We got it. Um, you want you want got the collars? Yeah, we got collars. Oh, great. Collars. I mean, you're you're doing some reps as long as the bar doesn't bend. But then again, if it <laughs> he's did, he's he's that would be. Hey, I, I made that mistake though when I was doing the front squats. So you gotta go slow. <laughs> Stand up too fast in the bar. That bar, oh. that that bend it. Oh, that you uh, bend yeah, off. Yeah, ten kilo. Bending that bar bending like that yeah. takes away the rep from you. Yeah, that's right. Keep <laughs> that when you were Yeah, never. No. Really? No. Did you ever did you ever wake up or was your sleep ever broken or was it just it's broken. Broken sleep. Because I had to get my meal get six meals in, so I'd sleep three hours, uh, wake up, eat, and sleep another three hours. Wow. Took me an hour to eat and yeah. You know. Hour to eat? Wow. Yeah. How big was that meal? <laughs> Hell, you know, it's warming it up and everything. What did I have? I think it was grits and a protein shake. I think it was. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I had. Grits and protein shake. That must have been for years. 100, grand exactly protein, 100 grams of protein and like, what? 40 grams of carbs, something like that. 100 grams of protein, that's a big ass shake. Mm -hmm. That's a thick shit, that's sludge. Those thick shakes I can't do. It's not coming out. It's going I, in and getting stuck. I had two of those a day. And then uh, I remember that, that time I did the Arnold Classic. I was I was doing four shakes a day. I was doing three a day. And four I was shakes of uh, 100 grams. So what was like the average calorie intake? I, I never counted calories. No. I just counted protein and yeah. carbs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 600 grams of protein a day. 600? 600. 600. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And 125 on the car. But how many trips to the toilet? Was that no, five, six times a day. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you have one of the Japanese toilets? Spend so much time on it. Like nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need some help? Yeah, I got yeah. you. You want to guide me fingers? Yeah, just two around here. Right, and then, yeah, finish in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah perfect. Right. <laughs> there's, an art, there's an art to wraps. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> just it's gotta be done right. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
That's that why again? I never had a knee problem. I always yeah. rap. Hmm. My squad. Always. Interesting. Ironically for me, when always. I started rapping, that's when I started having knee problems. Mm-hmm. No. When, I, when I was squatting only in sleeves and no, and no sleeves, my knees felt the strongest. Mm-hmm. But when I went to raps, maybe because I was cranking them so tight, trying to get as much weight as I can out of them. Yeah. I didn't do mine that tight, though. That's, yeah, see, I ended up making them more like a t- really tight sleeve than a power of the super thick tight wrap. Yeah. That's where I found my happy medium where it wasn't any sleeves anymore. Yeah. All right. All right. Still warming up. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Lightweight. That's it. Come on. Lightweight, baby. Yep. Warming up. Go, come on. Yep, let's go. You got it. Yep, come on. Lightweight, lightweight. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Lightweight, baby. Oh, yeah. No problem. You're warming up. How much is that? Not enough. 240 kilo, (laughs) which I think is like 530. Yeah. 530. 530. 530. Hi, Potter. Uh, Granny, uh, chalk chalk any for you for your top set? Uh, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I got some chalk. Yeah, some chalk. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I have like a chalk for me. Right. Size of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Ronnie? You think he's he's got the potential to go and take an Olympia? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put him on the spot. Like yeah, look at it. Anything <laughs> is possible. <laughs> Anything is possible. You just got to work, right? Mm-hmm. You just got to work for it, right? Yeah, work for it. Yes, sir. It's a lot of hard work. Like, well, anything is possible, though. Oh well, yeah, he can win the Olympia. That's wild. There you go, guys. There you go. Got a good close <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Just, I'm, oh, I'm, let's that's do that again. Look. Oh, I'm, I'm literally, look, oh, I'm literally doing God. nothing. Oh, I'm well, not do that too much because it might sound. Let's not do that too much. If the bar ain't bending, you're still pretending. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, this is the thinnest, shakiest bar I've ever seen this much weight on. <laughs> Yet again, you doing some depth defying shit. Once I mean, do you know, I know this sounds stupid, but hear me out a sec. Once we're done with this and we move to incline, the clapping should be easy. Hmm. Because because the bar's flimsy, it'll add to the whip. Yeah, the momentum. Yeah. Help me to throw it. Hmm. I've always found that with yeah. like with slightly flimsier bars, they're easier to do that those kind of stunts with. Hmm. More stiff bars are like they don't give as much whip, you know? So it's like it's more raw power. Whereas with the whippy, I can use the momentum of the whip to I mean, I know it sounds stupid because it's only me that does this right, so you really can't relate. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it, 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 it does work like that. It's yeah, it's all about rhythm, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Getting the rhythm of it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a whippy bar is great for doing reps on the back, yeah. for example, because you can use the momentum of the whip yeah, the bar to crank out those reps. That's how mm-hmm. I'm able to do mm-hmm. four or five for 25, whatever reps mm-hmm. on the bench, or 30, 15 for 40, whatever mm-hmm. I've done. Uh, it's a lot. It doesn't like if you put it in the one max calculator. What that equates to is like a thousand pound bench. Yeah, yeah, right. But if you were to slow them down to where you eliminate the whip from the bar, Absolutely. the momentum, yeah, you're get nowhere near twenty. It gets more realistic to what your actual yeah one max is exactly. Yeah, this is this is what I did the front squat with right here. Six six hundred pounds. The first time I did it. Well, this is the, the whip in the bar got to me. The whip, you, you, oh, yeah, you don't take the yeah. and I drop yeah, it. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, did two, you did two reps, right? And as you came up, the, the whip yeah, at the top yeah, on the right yeah, side, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I dropped it, and I'm like, okay, I, if I can get past the whipping, mm-hmm. I'll be okay. Yeah. So the second time I did it, I got past it, and I was able to do 10 reps. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. That's some real shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Fuck 10 reps. reps. <laughs> 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 you gotta get past that whipping. <laughs> you don't touch and go for? I might have to just touch and go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I say go touch and go. Mm-hmm. You did touch and go in your last set. You yeah. did nothing too. Like when you guys are going for a one hundred max, keep it the same. Keep it the same. Whether it's pause, bench, or touch and go. Right. The more consistent you are throughout your warm ups, going up to your top set, where you're going for a new PR, 
you want to change nothing, right? If you change something last minute, anything could be foot placement. Mm -hmm. They could be maybe changing the plate, changing the bar, change your hand placement. You don't want to change anything. Yeah, you're right. The only reason I, so sometimes I'll pause on the way up, like for the first few sets there. But the reason I do that is I find it kind of awakens my explosive fibers. Okay. In a sense, I just want to pause up. I just, that explosive burst, and then, I, and then I'll start switching going, you know, around that 220, 200 mark, and that's where I find that it, I don't know, it almost like gels it for me, for me, anyway. Because I found with touch and go, right? I mean, my touch and go is about 675, and I've been 660 plus. But when I'm warming up with touch and go, I know if I have it in me or not, just from how quickly I'm moving the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally know if my 315, if I can do 675. Yeah, more. I agree with that. You know? Yeah, I do agree with that. Mm. Yeah. You just know when the weight feels extra mm -hmm. light. Like, this is the lightest this has ever felt, which means I can lift more than I ever lift before, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The days you hit your PRs, even yep. taking up the 45s, <laughs> like this doesn't feel like it usually oh, does. Oh, oh. Feels a little bit lighter. Yeah. It's not, you're just stronger. <laughs> just a little bit stronger. I miss those days, yeah. So you just, I mean, they're coming back. You'll yeah, be back. Yeah, for You'll sure. Be back. For sure, for sure. Absolutely. We should start the t-shirt like, like we well, should return to powerlifting or just, <laughs> yeah, just all that in general, I think anyway. Yeah. Right. You ready? Want to yeah. wrap you up? Yeah, please, you don't mind. Start this side. Yeah, good. That's it. All right. Perfect. What's your best you've done with six plates? For reps, uh, five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, I do think the thing is that every time I rep six plates, yeah. it's after a higher set. So I think if I, for example, like if I try this expect right back now, I'll probably get more. <laughs> or at least match it, you know? Yeah, make it in. <clears throat> I have some shit to see. I mean, we could decide now. Well, I think this, you guys are seven. Let's push it. So yeah, Sorry, I'm you're pretty on there. Let's go. Let's see. You got it? Nah, I'll do one round, right? Okay. One rep. Still warming up. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Yep. Let's go. Let's see it. Lightweight. Let's see it. Come on. Lightweight, baby. Still warming up. Let's go. Yep. Come yep. on. <laughs> you got it. Lightweight, lightweight. Lightweight. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was nothing. All right. God damn. Feel that whip? Yeah, I felt the whip. Yeah. <laughs> I felt the whip. Did it make but, any difference? It wasn't that um, bad, though. It caught me another at the top, but not really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. It might be um, one hook too high. You know, coming off? Yeah, looks like it. You know? Yeah. I think so. Is your back coming out of place when you. It's just, no, it's, yeah, trying to come off. I'm losing the, the back and I'm re bracing before the press. Well, so we strip it down, lower it, it goes back. Yeah. Well, if I lift your side, you just want to drop a hook. That'd be perfect. I'll do the same on side. You do, do, do what? What's that? So just hold this and you can drop the hook. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <coughs> one second. Oh my god. Well, one uh, person. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 I've never thought about that. Are you sure? Yeah, come on. Alright. You've said it a bit longer. You've said it a bit longer. Remember when we said about, yeah, draining energy? Yeah. Right, right. Doing that. Nice right. job. Right. Good yeah. job, yeah. Yeah. me, right? Yeah, put that Trev, on. Trev, you're up. Seriously, though. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> okay. Try to make this work as possible. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, take this. Yes. Watch your hands. Oh, okay. There you go. Hey, Chad. Hey. 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 Wow, he's so strong. <laughs> yeah, they saw. Yeah, they saw. <laughs> yeah, they saw. <laughs> Did anybody report that? No. 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 Nobody reported. <laughs> That's clear. Um, I think six and a half, then seven. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yep. One hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Hey Ronnie, have you ever been to the UK? Oh man. How do you feel about the UK <laughs> breakfast compared to American breakfast? Mm. Good mm. question, actually. Yeah. Not the same, but it's sweet. Ronnie, we all agree with you. Except for him. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Big dick on man. <laughs> you guys just don't know what you're missing out on. Uh, <laughs> you just don't know, man. <laughs> What's your favorite one? Tomatoes. Yeah. It's gotta be an English breakfast, 100%. <clears throat> English breakfast is just so good. But, listen, he took me to a steakhouse last night and we had <laughs> this sweet potato casserole that we had was... Uh, Ruth Chris. Oh, yeah. oh my no, right God. Uh -huh. I had that and I, I, I think that might have swayed me to thinking America might have the best food. Because <laughs> that, that one dish was insane. Where did you go to du uh, Dubai? Yeah? That's the best food ever. Really? Oh, yeah. Mary, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Mary. I was doing real good, I, I think. I, I mean, I'm there. In, I'm, I am there in like three weeks. So you probably yeah. haven't had a bad meal in Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there four years. I had one bad meal. Are you going to the so Muscle Show? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So you can show me some recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Oh yeah. <laughs> they got some good food places there. Speaking of food, Best ever. what's your uh, favorite cheat meal when you're on prep? If you ever, okay, how about post show? Every 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 uh, after every show, pizza. From where? That's the Pizza Hut. Pizza, pizza Hut pizza? pizza? No way. <laughs> what Domino's got That's in my house? That's the only time. I worked at Domino's for two years, oh, and I ate it every day. Oh, okay, that explains why. But it would have been Domino's, right? Yeah, it wasn't for that? Domino's, yeah. <laughs> I would have been Domino's. Oh, yeah. After working there for two years and eating it every day, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. haven't ate it since. <laughs> Spoiled it. <laughs> yeah. Last time I had it. Damn. That explains it. It's been Pizza Hut ever since then. So that's the only time I can eat pizza, though. Right after the show. Right after the show, that's it. You think about cheap food when you're on prep at all, or you just block it out entirely? Is it easy? Well, I'm ever... thinking about it every day because I'm watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All <laughs> oh, the food commercials back then. That's true. I can't wait. Nothing to do. Watching TV, and there comes the commercial, and then I got kids and daughters eating pizza every single day. I gotta watch it. Too. <laughs> I gotta watch it. That's torture, man. Bodybuilders like torture, man. I actually, get used to it. You know, it don't bother me at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Well, their own kids. I mean, they're they happy. Remember, uh -huh. Getting ready for the Olympia. <laughs> True. Yeah, priorities. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be strong minded. Yeah, you must be very strong minded. Yeah. Because I know my day is coming. <laughs> With, with like the preps that you did for Olympia, was there like one that was specifically more difficult than the others? Or were they all just, did they all have their own challenges in and out? They are pretty much the same, yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, they are difficult, you know. Yeah. No one is more difficult than the other. Mm -hmm. They all the same, pretty much. But yeah, after you've done it for so long, you can get used to it. Yeah, like I said. You roll the punches up. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> You know, when I'm getting ready, you know, everything's at home. I don't, I don't do nothing, go nowhere. I'm yeah, pretty much. But now that you're not prep anymore, what's your favorite cheat meal now? It's a pizza. Nothing. It's it, it's really nothing, you know. You know, because I can eat what I want when I want. <laughs> <laughs> so every is cheat meal, man. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> pretty much. <laughs> eat what I want when I want. So. Ain't no such thing as a cheap meal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you're right. You're not prepped, so why would it be cheating? <laughs> yeah, those days are over with for me. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the upsides. <laughs> yep. And you know, once you get used to eating certain kind of food, you, you're just used to it. That's very true. That's right. It was just a novelty. Yeah. So I didn't, you know, I used to eat a lot of junk before I started bodybuilding. Well, once I started bodybuilding, I started eating good. You, you, you never go back to the junk. Just stay with the bodybuilding food. But I used to eat the same. Now that I did when I was competing, I have chicken and rice every day, steak and potato every day. Same food. Only thing I changed is <laughs> instead of having chicken breast, it's chicken thighs. <laughs> instead of having filet mignon, it's 
ribeye. Right. <laughs> small change in face. Small change. Yeah. Very small. Love that. All right. I'm gonna crack these up now. All right, let's crack it. I like to pull this bit. I've, I've noticed that this is actually really good because you can pull on it. Oh yeah. Or you pull, and it makes it all white. Yeah. All right. Get a good crank. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right. Get some uh, size five in the next two right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Nice. Yeah, good. All right. Oh yeah, side spiders. Cool. Good for side spiders. Okay, cool. What are we at Trevor on stand? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are we at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ninety. Okay, cool. Lathe, have you ever side spotted? I have not. Okay. You better watch him. <laughs> Don't touch him. That's just like touch. Yeah, he'll he'll tell you when Absolutely. to touch it. I don't okay. think you want to have to touch the. Last one. Just in case. All right. Stay ready. Okay. Yep. Okay. Come on now. Eat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's still lightweight, though. Oh. Let's go. Yeah. Right Come, Come on. on. You got this. Lightweight, baby. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a crazy noise down there, man. Like, I don't know what's it. You good? <laughs> I'm you just saying, you know what? Rice. It's really difficult to brace because the bench is thinner, so I'm trying to like lock in my back and, and like get my breath right. Yeah, you look comfortable. Like, I don't know. Should I call it right here? Should I, should I reset? You look good, man. You look good. Yeah, I'm sure. Slower than I wanted. Yeah. Is it, is it, yeah, whipping on you a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought yeah, the whip more than normal. I thought the whip way more that time yeah. than I did in six. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. <laughs> you want to break it down, please? It's good. That'll be enough. That's five. So five for reps. Yeah, so my best uh, with 500 is 12 reps, but this is 485. So what was yours? 512? So I, I did 495 for 12. Ooh. And so was, this is 485, right? Yeah. We can add five. So I need to do it for like 15 to kind of. We got fives. Yeah. yeah. We'll make it the same then. We'll make it the same. At least one, I mean, at least 13. We'll cut that out. Right. He did 485 for 12. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to put the extra weight on to make it exact? What, have we got fives? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got fives. fives if you want. If you're a man, you'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can call that now, so. Right. I'm much of a choice, right? That's right. But yeah. Ryan, he did five for six, so it was an eight. <laughs> five for eight on the bench. Was it eight reps or was it six? Six. Six, six reps? Yeah. Okay, well. Now you made me want to do like at least 15. For please, challenge now, yeah. Please do. Because look, that's uncharted territory. Generally, the guys that are capable of doing 15 just don't ever even try it. Yeah. Julius. That's right? because they're not stupid like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only reason. No, no, so, actually, this is one of the smart things I've seen you do. Probably the smartest. <laughs> that's, 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 so that makes me realize how stupid I am. I said, this is one of the smarter things that I would do. Right. Right. You're about to do 700 pounds on a noodle bar or right. 660. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would have been good, right? I mean, would it be? I think I'd have got it. I know, so oh, you, I, know, I know you would have got it. Yeah. Uh -oh. you know, last time I did, when I did my <laughs> six eighty five, go back up now. When I did my six eighty five last week, <laughs> the six forty was slower than the six eighty five. It's going back up. Yeah, let's go back up. I want to do 500 for more than 12. Okay, so. <laughs> because I know you have a bigger bench than 675 in you, but on the right bench. Yeah. Not on the new bar. Yeah, yeah this, this thing here is crap. That's crap. Yeah, the bar's not good, the bench's not good. I mean, this is rental equipment after all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, in fact, you got this bar. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And on reps, I've always said the whip helps on reps. Going over eight reps, that little bit of momentum you get from the weights. Great. That's also what I was saying about that whip helps with the momentum on the clap. 
Yeah, I can absolutely. See, oh, I, I absolutely see that. Yeah, 100%. Because it, like, the, that. obviously, the more momentum I can build in that lower portion as yeah. I release, the whip will carry it higher. And that's how, that's how it's easier to clap. Not that anyone, again, should try that. Please listen for the 5,000th <laughs> time. Because some of you are not listening, and some of you are tagging me in videos of you clapping. And it's, uh, it's not going well, is it? Some of you are getting hurt, so please stop. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it should be. I feel like it should be pretty self-explanatory that when you watch release, you look at it and go, that's a bad idea, you know? But some people look at it and go, I wanna try that, <laughs> like, nah, you shouldn't try this. <laughs> some people try much worse, so it's yeah. not to my surprise, they're trying to clap bench. Even, I got sucked into it, I'm never gonna try one arm bench, and lo and behold, I tried a one arm bench, and it fell on my chest. <laughs> yeah, no, and no. I felt awful. <laughs> I felt awful. <laughs> you you know, uh, honest to God, so we, me and Larry, We've both had like where we've both been in the clips. We've had super two super viral clips. It was that one where he dropped the hundred, and it was when we first met in June at Fitness Mania, and I did the clap. That clap clip, I saw that on like I don't know, maybe three hundred million accumulated views across different Instagram pages. That's amazing. Yeah. So Jesus. yeah, that went crazy. Oh, yeah. that, and there's a quote on it that says, "Scariest thing I've ever witnessed." Larry Wills. Yeah, like that's what like it really was. Yeah. Yes. I was biting my teeth the whole time, <laughs> crunching my cheeks. Like, what do I do if it fails? Like, I can't catch it midair. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? If you could guess. Move the body. <laughs> <laughs> if you could guess what song I'm listening to to get in the zone now, what do you think it is? Uh, yeah, there's no way you're going to get it, by the way. Is it a UK song? Nope. Is it an American song? It's a rock song. Nope. <laughs> is it Two Steps From Hell? No, it's Krusty Krab. <laughs> wow. yeah, it's, it's crabs from SpongeBob AI. AI. It's an AI generated song by crabs. I know what you're talking about. It, it slaps. Yeah. It's called Krusty Krab Anthem. Squidward comes in really hard on the beat. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of hear it. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, my go to songs are different. That's hilarious. This is a dark place for him, Larry. Yeah, this we don't have that dark, dark place, place to go to, man. <laughs> SpongeBob and Squidward on the course. All right. Sure. Sorry, I should have led you there, yeah. Yeah. I've got that too low, that's my fault. I should have guided you. Not bad. Yeah, no guidance. Yeah. Okay. And then to about here. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Thanks a lot. Perfect, yeah. Wow. Easy. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And then to about here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just crank out the last bit, though. Right there? Or not at all? What are we doing? Just a little okay. crank. A little crank on that. Okay. okay. Just a little, yeah. Hold on tight. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and then, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah baby, woo! Oh, 15, I can feel 15. Please, 15. Oh, yeah. Then I gotta do 16 in a few weeks. <laughs> so there's some ammonia somewhere, right? Some sniffing salts? Yeah. Yeah, got it right here, bro. <laughs> yeah. Are they Would open? this be a first for you too? No, not on, oh, this set? Yeah. Yeah, if I get it. Wish I will. Yeah, there's no purple belly here. Get that breathing right, most importantly in this set. We got this. All right, enough thinking, more lifting. Here we go. Yep. Come on, baby, there it is. Yep. yep. Lightweight, come on! Yes! Come on! Oh yeah! Yeah! Absolutely! Yeah. 15 easy ones, dog! Let's fucking see yeah, it! Yeah, buddy! Right. Lightweight, go! Come on! Two. You got it! Big brace! Yep! Yep! Oh, yeah. That's light! That groove! Oh yeah! Two. Yes! Three. Oh yes! Four! Yes! Five! Yes! Six. Yes! Seven! Yes! Eight! Yes! Nine! Yes! Ten. Keep Seven. going! Yes! Come Three! On. You have more! Yeah. Yes! Yes! Yep! Yes! Come on! Oh yeah! Two more! Go! Yes! Wait! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Oh yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Good shit!
Yeah. That's uncharted territory. Yeah. Never have I ever 495 <laughs> for more than 12 reps from anyone. <laughs> Might be out there. I haven't ever seen it. I'll tell you what, ghosts are real because I can see them right now. <laughs> and the man took another round. <laughs> Uncharted territory right there. Damn. In front of Ronnie Crazy. Crazy. At the King's, King's house. Crazy as hell. National PR. Yeah. 14. 514. <laughs> That's some real shit. That's impressive. So, just like you know, Ronnie, that's more cardio. Three times more than me. That's all the cardio I did. God damn. Yeah. Well done, man. Thanks, man. I wanted 15, but I didn't think sorry, but yeah. maybe rep four or five. I mean, screwed, and then. It looked like he is tilting a little bit. Yeah, I thought maybe the pitch side and all. No, so that could be the fact. Every time I brace, yeah. for some reason, I'm losing my right shoulder, so I'm yep. leading to the right. Yeah, You're on the bench, right? Today. Yeah. 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 I saw that. Right there. Yeah. You saw it a bit tilted, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of falling. I mean, you're, you're 415. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'd have a hard time on that bench. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> 200 pounds lighter. <laughs> yeah, you're wide as the house. You probably wide as him. Yeah. The waist was different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the waist probably smaller than mine at 300 pounds. <laughs> what was your waist at 300 pounds? Yeah, did you ever measure it? Oh, yeah. I wish I knew. I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know Andrew Jack is on stage at like 280 or so with like a 27 inch waist. Mine was. Let's see, mine 29. No. And when I was uh, 230. Okay, that's yeah. tiny. <laughs> yeah, your mine was like 32 at 232 recently. So oh. that taper that you have is crazy. Even I was at 32. Yeah. And I always thought I had a small waist. Damn, mm. putting in perspective. Uh, Superior uh, genetics, uh, clearly. Uh, <laughs> Incline? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. Usually I'd be like, you know what, that was great. Yeah. Great to end the day. Crazy. Nice, safe PR. Yeah. Yeah. But, the logical no. next step is to yeah. do the incline. Claps on me. Claps. Oh, you know what, though? It what? wouldn't hurt to have a lemon cookie before you do a little burst of car. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Back of those cookies nice. are real good. You know? Yeah. So uh, we were just. We were just looking at the bar, and I said, it looks like it's bent a little. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> you can see the whole bend in the bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> it's probably a good idea we didn't the seven, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Very really confident with a snap and then slice my neck in half or something like that. <laughs> like that was Run a great idea. Run seven. Yeah, I think I'm looking at it. Larry, do you want to type me here? Yeah. Just like your Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Warm it up. Three, let's go. Two, let's go. Yep. Yep. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Hey, wait. Yeah. Round of applause. My best is uh, 155 kilograms. Yeah, 155. All right. Cool, that's nice. Well. Uh, the 155 was like, oh, when we did that, we knew, we knew I had like 160 in me at least. And then that was like five months ago. Oh, you're doing the four or five months ago. Pressure, I'm no pressure at all. No problem. <laughs> Sign the waiver. Yeah, <laughs> Sign the waiver. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to know what my body fat was in there? Do you remember what it was like? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. I want to know. Yes. 3.7? Nope. <laughs> Way off. Oh. Four and a half. Is Way that when you got measured in at one? Uh, I measured in at 0.33. Yeah. What? Oh, what? 0.33. Not even a half of a cent. What? Oh my god. Why? Why? Yeah. Yeah. I went to a place called Cooper's Clinic. They uh, dip you under the water. Yeah. yeah. And, and, so high. and they tell okay, you to blow out all your hair. Yeah. And that's how, you, that's how they come up with it. And then they uh, pinch the skin and they average the two together. Wow. wow. Came out to 0 0.33. 0 0.33. When I, when I, when I went on underwater, it was minus two. Oh my God. Wow. Minus two. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> the guy was freaking out. <laughs> he was everything like that in his life. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Two that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. 
Mm. Yeah, buddy. We are here at the Ronnie Coleman Signature Series Gym with my boy Larry Wills and my main man, the Jim Reaper. He just did the most amazing thing I have ever seen in my life. And we will, we want to send a challenge out to anybody out there. He just did 495 pounds bench press. 495 on the bench for 14 reps. Now, I don't think anybody out there can do that besides him. So, there'll be a few weeks. So, the challenge is on. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, give my boy Larry Wheels a follow. Give my boy the Jim Reaper a follow. And what's what, what's the follow, Larry? So it's Larry Wheels. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, everything. <laughs> and Baker. Yeah, uh, Instagram, Big Boy Bike, uh, and TikTok, Big Baker. YouTube, you can also follow me on Jim Reaper. Now, if y'all want to see more excitement like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, buddy. All right, wait. We are out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You'll mess up your signature. Yeah, I mean, I don't, <laughs> don't pressure me now. Um, All right. Josh, it's your turn now. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, I'm, I'm going to go right here. A little bit bigger. That's a very humble signature, man. A little bit bigger. The biggest man ever signed the wall is a small signature. <laughs> there you go. Alright, Larry. I don't feel worthy of the wall, so. Show Jim Reaper how it's gonna be done. Yeah. <laughs> I can tear at this wall right now. There you go. That was what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>